What's going on guys? In this video we are going to be discussing what daemon threads are. I'm going to start off by showing you some problems that we might run into when we utilize threads and how we can implement daemon threads to counteract those problems. So first we'll start off with a, a simple example. So it's just, uh, let me just show you this a simple example. We have uh, three different functions and these first two functions, let me just make sure you guys can see it. Okay. These uh, first two functions are going to create items and the, uh, and the other function is going to limit the creation of items. So uh, the total is four and um, we're going to be globalizing four and two, two functions that are going to be uh, creating items at their own pace. And we have one function called limit, limits items, which is going to be uh, checking if the total is greater than five. And if it's greater than five, it's going to print out a couple of statements, as you can see here. It's going to print out a couple of statements and then it's going to subtract three from the total or else it's going to be sleeping for a second and print waiting. So one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is um, uh, the difference between these three three functions. The first thing is uh, we're going to be using a for i in rain. So we're going to be using an iterator that can be exhausted. So the first two functions that create items are going to iterate for a limited amount of times and after those iterations are done these two functions are going to be finished or terminated. So as you can see for i in range 10, we're going to do all this. And this one is for i in range 7. They have different paces. One is sleeping for two seconds, one is sleeping for one second. And they're adding a plus one to the total. So as you can see, total is a global variable and we're accessing the global namespace. And here we're just adding one to each of these. Now, the, on the other hand, the limits item has, um, is utilizing the while true statement. So this is going to be continuously running. While true, while true, while true, while true. The loops are going to be continuous and infinite. And it's continuous, continuously going to be uh, keeping a check on what these two other threads are doing and how their actions are affecting total. So now I'm going to show you the full code, which is written here. And I'm going to show you the problem that can occur with, uh, when utilizing threads. So let's just take a look at this code. It's pretty much the same thing. I've just added um, the threading portions of it. So we've imported threading in time. A uh, total is four, which I have uh, just said earlier is the uh, a global variable, which we're going to be accessing within these functions. So we have three different functions. One, two, three, uh, create items, create items two, and uh, limit items. So we have three functions. Now I'm going to be creating three different threads and each of these threads are going to call each of these three functions. So we have three different threads, creator one, creator two, and limiter. So creator one is going to call, uh, let's see, uh, creates item. Creator two is going to call creates item two, and limiter is going to call limits item. So we're going to start all three, then we're going to wait for them to finish, and finally we're going to print our ending value of total is total. So now this running this code is going to create a problem and I'm going to show you exactly what happens when we run this code. Okay. All right, let's just run it. I'm going to run the code now. Okay, now it's running. So it's adding items. You're at one of the one of the threads is waiting. You have overload, subtracted three. So everything's sort of uh, all these threads are, are working uh, concurrently or in sync. Sync synchronously, synchronously, synchronously. Yeah, so they're working synchronously. Okay, so now here's the problem. Um, creation has been done. All we're getting is waiting, 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 waiting. And uh, we can't access the main thread. What's happening is these two functions, create items one and create items two, have uh, exhausted the iterator. They've exhausted the iterator, so they've terminated. But this, this uh, limits items is, is continuing to, to run. This limit item is continuing to run. And the problem with that is we've added this join statement. So this join statement pretty much says that you cannot go on to the next part of the program until um, this limiter.join has uh, completed its task. But in our case, it never completes its task because this while true loop is sort of, uh, it's an infinite loop. So it's going to co run continuously and there's no way for limits item to limits items to uh, complete its task. So that's the first thing um, that's a problem. Using this limit.join completely uh, destroys our code in a sense. Uh, we can't move forward. We can't terminate from the main thread. So in this case, I'm going to have to manually uh, terminate this. 
but even control C doesn't work as you can see so I'll have to actually use a workaround and sort of use a brute force it's going to be a hard terminate so I'm going to just have to terminate it with an X and we're going to just open a new console okay so so one thing we can do is okay so what if we get rid of this join statement you might be thinking okay so what happens if we get rid of this join statement these two creators are finished and um, so since we're not blocking the thread anymore we should be able to move on so yeah so that that seems like a solution you know we can move on we'll be, we'll be able to access this part of the program the next print statement so let's test out what happens when we get rid of our join statement okay so I'm going to run this again okay so now we're adding item one of the threads is waiting and then when something uh, when it's above five it's an overload it subtracts three so all these things are going on at the same time okay So let's just see what happens. Okay. So wait, we get an ending value. If you, it's hard to see, but we get an ending value of three. But the the thread is still going and it's still waiting. So we're able to actually move on to the next part of the main program. Our ending value, uh, our ending value of total is, is six. But we still have this pesky thread that does not end. Despite our main thread ending, our main program has ended. But this this pesky thread is continuing to run in the background and we cannot, our program is not terminating. So this is a problem and this is where uh, daemon tools, uh, not daemon tools, sorry, this is where daemon, the use of daemon uh, comes into play in Python. So now I'm going to show you exactly uh, how to utilize daemon and what it does. Daemon is an attribute when you uh, initialize a thread. So when you initialize a thread, you have an option to set daemon as false or true. Daemon is always uh, set as false as the default value. So what daemon does is um, it ends the thread when the main program finishes or when the main program terminates. So when your main program finishes, like in our case, the last line was print our ending value totals three. What setting a thread as a daemon thread is going to do is it's also going to terminate this uh, thread. So this thread is going to uh, terminate once our main program ends. Because in this case, limiter just relies on our main program and the creator one and creator two. If creator one and creator two are, are have exhausted their iterator, then there's no point for a limiter to be running. Limiter is a check on, on threads like uh, creator one, creator two. If creator one and creator two have exhausted, then there's no point for limiter to be running. So in our case, using the daemon tools, what's going to happen is once the main program, we've accessed the main program, we print our final statement, and once the main program uh, terminates, it's going to force this daemon thread to terminate as well. So let's discuss how exactly we implement these uh, daemon parameters. So what you have to do is when you in, uh, initialize a thread, so in this case we have target equals limit uh, that items, what you have to do is you have to access the uh, daemon parameter, in this case it's d-a-e-m-o-n, and you just have to set that to true. So that's all you have to do to turn a thread into a daemon thread. We set this to true, and now we're going to run this once again. So let me see. Uh, daemon equals true. This looks good. Join, print. Okay. So now what should happen is we're going to print our statement, and we're going to end our program. So we're going to end this, but but just in case, I'm going to actually just uh, do a hard reset uh, console. So I'm going to actually close this, and then consoles, I'm going to restart. Uh, where is it? Open a console. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to run this program now. Uh, let me just make sure you guys can see this. Uh, let's see, let's just make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. Alright, so now I'm going to run this same program uh, once again. But remember, we've uh, added this daemon equals true uh, parameter. So let's just run this now, and we're going to see that once we access, once our main thread finishes, our background thread, this limited thread, is going to also terminate. So it's adding items, uh, so it's all three threads are doing the thing. Uh, okay. What? So Apparently, there's a bug um, when you use threads with daemon from a Python console. 
So if you use uh, something like Idle, or here in my case, I'm using Spider, for some reason, the daemon threads uh, don't end when the main thread exits. So this has something to do with uh, the output to the Idle. There's still some sort of connection with the SD out and the Idle or the Python console. We have to run it from the command prompt. So first, I'm going to show you this sort of, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's, um, I'm not exactly sure why this this uh, behavior occurs, but it, it has to do something, it seems, with stuff being printed out. There's still a connection with the uh, ST out between the script and the uh, Python console. So I'm going to show you once again that even though this is supposed to end because we've uh, added the daemon uh, parameter, we've set the daemon parameter to be true, it does not work. So I'm going to run this. Actually, first I need to add a console. So we're going to open a Python console. I'm going to run this and I'm going to show you. See that it does not work. And I've added one extra line just to make sure that we are, uh, that limiter is a, a daemon thread. So in this case, uh, limiter dot is daemon printed out true in the beginning. I'm going to run it again just to show you that this, uh, this did run true, which means limiter is a daemon thread. So I'm going to end this now. Let's see, we just close this. The consoles, restart, uh, open Python console. So once again, I just want to reiterate that there seems to be some sort of bug that prevents daemon threads from uh, terminating when you run this from uh, an IPython console, uh, from a Python console. So whether it be Spider or Idle or maybe even PyCharm, whatever sort of console you use, um, you're not going to be able to get the uh, expected results of daemon thread. So I just want to show you guys that this part is the first line is daemon. I just want to show you that the limiter is in fact daemon because uh, if we print out, we see this, we get this true. The first line is a true. Uh, it's hard to see now, but hopefully you guys saw that it's true. Anyway, so I'm going to now actually run this from the command prompt to show you guys. So we're going to end this. I'm going to end these two. So I'm going to run this from the command prompt. First, we're going to show you when daemon is not true. So we're going to get rid of this and show you that the problem still occurs when daemon is not true. And then we're going to set the daemon to true and show you that it resolves our problem. So, okay, anyway, so I'm going to run this now. So let's just save this. I'm going to save it. And let's just uh, start command prompt. And let's see. It should be within here. Uh, what do I call it? Something like, ah, uh, here we go, daemon. This should be it. Let me just make sure. Okay, daemon video part two pi. Okay, so that's it. So we're just going to run it with Python 3.6. Python 3.6, and I'm just going to paste what I just copied. And now this should run it from the command prompt, and we should still have the problem of the thread not ending because we've set daemon, uh, we've set it to the default value, which is false. So in this case, as you can see, the first word is false, and now we've added items, and it's going to run, and it should continuously run even after we printed out the total. So let's just uh, look out for that total line and then we'll see that. And there we go, our ending value of total is six. So now despite us, uh, our main program ending, we still have this thread running because it's not a daemon thread. And it's running, 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 running. Okay, apparently we can't control C, so I guess I'll just close this. Okay, so now I'm going to set this, uh, set the daemon to equal to daemon equal to true. So I'm just uh, adding this parameter, daemon equal to true. We're going to save it. And now, oh, I'm going to run command prompt again. And let me just get that file again. Uh, here we go. Set daemon part two. I'm going to copy that. And now we're going to run this from the uh, command prompt. Okay, now we should have no problem. If we run this, since we've set everything to daemon and we're running from the command prompt, we shouldn't have the bug that we experienced earlier. Ah, sorry. Python 3.6 is the correct way. Okay, so now you see daemon equals true. That's the first line. And now our program should run the way we expect it to run. Okay, so here we go. So we've uh, 
we've got our ending value of total equals six, and then the uh, thread, the daemon thread, ends right after our main program terminates. So here is what I wanted to explain, but I couldn't explain in the consoles because of some sort of bug or some, I don't know what's going on with, in, in that situation. But here, I was able to show you guys the uh, benefits of a daemon thread. So what a daemon thread does is once the main program terminates, a daemon thread will terminate as well. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully, uh, despite that little bug, I'm hoping you guys are still uh, learning some stuff here. Um, I actually learned a couple of things here as well. Uh, I appreciate any comments. Uh, let me know what you guys are interested in and what else can I do to improve uh, my uh, presentation. So I would love the feedback. That's it. So everyone have a good day and I'll see you guys next time.